Hello, this is Santa here, and today we're finally taking a look at my main tokusatsu collection. Uh, this is mostly the Super Sentai Mecha Changers and the Kamen Rider Belts, which is what we're going to look at today. Kamen Rider SH Figure Arts uh, display pending. Um, but I really wanted to dis I, I wanted to display my stuff for years, and I really wanted to display the Sentai Mecha specifically, because it's like my favorite thing from Toku is just Sentai Mecha and Rangers, or Megazords, and all that. Um, so I really wanted to, to do this, and it finally happened, and I did it months ago, and I've been trying to figure out how to film it, but I recently got a new phone with a nice new camera, and now here we are. It can distinguish shadows from light, and we can actually see things. Um, so let's take a look. Starting off top here, we have Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Season 1 slash Kyoryu Sentai G-Ranger. Uh, these are the originals. Um, I actually do have an original set of the Ultra Zord. I'm missing a few parts, like I don't have the cod piece for the Dragon Zord. Um, I'm missing uh, a lot of pieces for the Dragon Zord, really. I don't have, like, the drill stand or the drill tip, uh, or, and, like, I literally just don't even have any part of the tip. It just broke off before I got it. Um, and I, I'm missing one horn to the Triceratops, uh, which I think I have, because I found the other horn, and I'm like, maybe I actually do have the horns. Um, and my Titanus has a couple problems, namely the clips are actually broken on the uh, claws, um, and there is a piece of plastic, a chunk of plastic out of the neck right there. Um, but the motor still works and everything, and I got that dude for, like, 50 bucks, um, which was pretty bit, pretty, pretty good. Um, like I said, not the legacy versions, uh, legacy versions are off, um, just off to the side. Still like the legacy versions, but for scaling-wise, I felt like the original mecha kind of fit better, uh, with this. So, overall, I, it's a beautiful little thing. Um, yeah, I don't have the Titan sleds either, I don't think anybody does anymore. Uh, moving here, we have uh, Season 2 slash Ghost of Sanity Die Ranger. Um, we get the original Thunder Megazord, Assault Team, and the Red Dragon Zord. Um, had to go through a few of those, but I finally got all the parts to that. Um, and I have all the little figures now, um, which is cool. I have a Tiger Zord in there, uh, which was my original Tiger Zord from when I was a kid, but I never, I got it at a thrift store, so I never got the parts for it, but I finally picked all those up, so I got that complete. I've got a tour with a horn and all the little gold armor plating. And I have a Serpentera, who is not broken. Um, luckily, I'm super, super blessed that that guy is still intact. Um, I've had him since I was a kid. Um, and, yeah, so really cool. Um, never a big fan of this combo, but it's just kind of the most uh, easiest way to kind of display things. Um, now, I didn't have room to put the Cocker Ranger mech up here, or slash Mighty Morphin Season 3. So I just went straight to O-Ranger, uh, mostly because King Pyramiter which that is an actual King Pyramider. I love that. I, I got that for such a good price um, uh, online. Yeah, that guy's really big. He would not fit on any of the other shelves. He can only fit on this top shelf. Um, the only, you know, he's only got a little bit of clearance from the ceiling. Um, but yeah, that's, that's why this is here. Um, Warrior Wheel. Uh, well, I actually really like that mecha. Um, we got the uh, Ark the Conqueror slash, um, oh, what was his name? Gun Majin. Uh, I do have his key, actually. Um, I do own the key. It's not sitting up there, uh, so I don't lose it, but I do have the key for him. Um, we also have here the Super Zeo. Uh, I'm missing both swords and the helmet. I've had no luck trying to get either of those. Um, maybe one day. Uh, and then, of course, King Pyramider up here actually is storing my uh, Red Battle Zord as well as my Zeo Megazord. Uh, the Zeo Megazord is mostly complete. I'm just missing the sword and I think the cannon for the... For uh, the pink zord and one of the horns for the Taurus, um, but yeah, see, this is Pyramider. Look at the, look at the nice plastic and the Japanese writing. It's, it's really nice. Anyways, uh, moving along down to shelf number two. Uh, here we got the uh, Shogun Mega Falcon Zord. Um, I put that here just because it's space effective, and I love this combo more than the one with the uh, Ninja Mega Zord. Um, really like this. I, I really would love a Miteki Shogun. Um, but at this point, I'm probably just going to wait it out for a either a Legacy Mutech, or like either a Legacy Shogun Megazord, um, but most likely a Super Sentai Artisan Muteki Shogun would be nice. Uh, moving along here, this is the nice part about our rotating shelf. We got Ninja Megazord. Um, this thing's complete. I do have a little mouth grip somewhere for that guy. Um, and then we also have uh, Ninja slash Ninja Man in Samurai Man mode. Um, I don't have the sheath for him, but you know, I, I kind of put him there because he's scaled to this. Uh, poor Car Ranger. Poor Turbo. Uh, this is actually a Sirender, Japanese version. Picked that guy up for, ba it was basically new. Um, really interesting how they worked the sounds in this to be 
sound activated instead of uh, just a button, uh, which I thought was neat. Uh, we got VRV Robo slash Rescue Megazord, which broke when I was putting it into the display. Uh, one of the shoulder joints snapped, but my dad was awesome and fixed it some miraculous way. This guy is complete. I got both guns and both heel spurs. Pretty great. Um, I do have most of the parts here. I have the other arm and the um, the red lightning zord. Um, they just got lost in storage, but I don't know if I have the shield. Um, oh, by the way, I do have the sword for the Shogun. It stuck out. Uh, this is actually the Starlight Studios uh, diecast one, um, which is just super nice, but it stuck out, so I kind of put it down. And then we got uh, the Artillotron uh, back here, um, which looks really nice. The stickers are starting to come up. Poor guy. Um, I actually use this as a storage cavity for parts. So you see I got the extra parts for Siren in there, including the whistle. Um, that was just something I thought, hey, he's got a bunch of empty space. Really cool. Uh, moving on to in space slash Mega Ranger. Uh, here's the Mega Winger. Um, I do have its cannon. Uh, not sure where it went, but I do have it. I know math. And I do have the missile for the Mega Voyager. Even if I did, though, I probably would leave it out just because of the, the space. I guess I could push this guy forward a little bit and be able to fit the missile in there, but um, I do have it somewhere. Uh, and the shield, I think it's holding, yeah, it's holding the shield. Um, sometimes I can't remember where I put these parts, but uh, there's the shield, there's the Mega Voyager. I love that mecha so much. Uh, the Astro Delta Megazord, um, complete, minus the shield for the Astro uh, Megazord, which kind of sucks, but in this mode, it doesn't really matter too much. Uh, here we have Boltaurus, as we move into Lost Galaxy slash King of Man. This actually is a Boltaurus, it's got the gold chains. I love this mecha design, and I had to, had to get a Japanese one. Luckily, they didn't go for a whole lot. Uh, here is the Galaxy Megazord, which took a lot of getting... I had to get, like, I think I had like two, three sets of these swords at some point. Um, eventually, I got every part, including the sword, both the hands and the crown, or the, um... Yeah, the horns piece. Of course, I got the light Ginga armor on it, um, so the, the crown piece is kind of superfluous in this case, but, uh, there's that. Um, there's the Zenith Carrier Zord, um, which is nice. Uh, I actually have all the little vehicles for that, which is pretty great. Uh, one of the pegs is snapped inside the Zenith, though, which sucks. Uh, here's the Stratoforce, um, which is complete. I have all the parts. Uh, one of the wings broke off. I've had this guy, this is like one of my first Megazords. This and the Centaurus and the, um, Dino Megazord. But I finally got all the parts back together for this guy. Uh, Centaurus, not as well off. Um, still working on trying to recover all the pieces. Uh, I'm sure I'll get there one day. Uh, moving down on this shelf, this is the first shelf of changers. With the way I spaced out the shelves to fit everything, I had to have a short shelf that wouldn't fit any mecha, so I just put the changers here. Uh, the Legacy Bucklers, which looks nice. Uh, this is actually an Obrace. Uh, yeah, the Obrace there, um, which I really like. I got a really good deal on that, too. Uh, this is actually the Lost Galaxy version of the Turbo Morpher, but I just haven't decided to spring for it. I'm not a huge fan of that thing. Um, both the In Space Morphers still work, which is I'm so blessed. Thank you for these working. Um, same with the Magna Defender Morpher. This is like one of the rarest morphers out there. Uh, and I got it on an eBay lot years and years ago. Uh, Titanium Morpher I've had since I was a kid. Um, it actually broke, which is sad. Maybe we'll get a Legacy one. That'd be nice. Battle Booster. Yes, I don't have a Rescue Morpher. Been trying to get one. Um, I'm not a huge fan of it, so I don't want to put out like a ton of money for one. Um, but I'm still trying to find one of those. Uh, moving over here, we got Time Force. This is actually the controller for the uh, Q-Rex, the Time Force um, Chrono Morpher, the Time Badge, uh, Wild Force Gal Ranger. I do have the uh, Lunar Collar. Uh, it's just not here because it's in storage with some of these other Megazord parts. Um, just stuff that got moved when we were moving. Um, but I got the Battle Edge Buckler. Um, yes, there's a Magi phone in the middle there, but uh, there's Hurricane Drift slash Ninja Storm. I've got all four Morphers. Um, I've got all the parts for them, too. I don't think I have... Okay, the horn for Crimson's out, but the actual metal for that is not um, around right now. Um, same with the other metal for the Samurai Storm. But I do have it, and for that thing, too. Uh, Dino Thunder. I have all of the Dino Guts plates from Abba Ranger, uh, whether they're in American or Japanese. Um, the, again, some sometimes things just get misplaced. I don't know how. Um, but the Pachazord plate, plate I do have, um, and I don't know what, where did the Pterodactyl plate go? I know it's here, it may have slipped through the cracks, um, but I even got this weird, like, fossilized one. This is part of, like, a roleplay set for, like, a fossil finder thing that Bandai America did, 
Um, it just activates the same sounds as the regular Tyrannosaurus. Um, basically, I got all the auxiliaries. It just, again, Pachysaur one's just misplaced temporarily. Um, and I even got the power-up one. I, I went all in. I got all the plates. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, that pterodactyl may be some... Well, we might find it on a shelf here. Uh, back there, uh, SPD, uh, I got the two uh, morphers and the um, Omega, the Mega Morpher, the Rev Morpher. Uh, the Fire Edition of the Mystic Morpher and a uh, Uzaphone um, for Wolzard. Plus, that is a grip phone. I love the grip phone. It was super cheap. I spent like $5 on that thing, um, which is pretty great. Uh, the Overdrive Morphers there. Uh, Jungle Fury, the Solar Morpher with all three plates, including that weird Rhino one that came with the Control Dagger. Um, the Wolf Morpher, the Master Claw, and the two RPM Changers um, with the phone and the brace. And now we see the biggest hit from moving, which is called Lightspeed Rescue. Uh, some of my first Zords I ever got, I got the entire line the same year it came out. Um, as you see, Omega Megazord, most of it's kind of missing. Uh, one of the legs of the Rescue Megazord, um, which is the yellow uh, the yellow uh, Armor Zord, um, that one's, again, in storage. Uh, everything else is there. Uh, Super Train is the same thing. I got three of the limbs. I got the other two somewhere. Uh, of course, we got, you know, the Life Force Megazord, the uh, Max Victor Robo Black. Love this thing so much. Uh, Time Force slash Time Ranger. Um, so we got the Q-Rex back there. Uh, complete. Got everything for him. Uh, we got the Time Shadow Megazord. Not complete, as you can see. <laughs> Time Shadow is missing an arm and its weapons. Uh, and it's horribly broken in a lot of ways. Might need to replace them someday. Uh, and then we got Providus here. I don't have the whole provider base out just because space. Um, and then we got the little time flyer there. I put the little figures inside the the Time Force Megazord so I don't lose them. Gow Ranger slash Wild Force, my favorite Sentai um, of all time. And one of my favorite Mecha lines as well. Uh, here we got the Soul Bird with all the figures. Yep, red's still there. Um, but there's all the figures on the Soul Bird. I love that thing. Gao Kong, Jumbo Gao line in the back. Uh, Predazord, I'm missing the wolf tail, and the gator tail broke. Um, it just happens to everybody. Uh, there's a Gao Icarus, it actually is Gao Icarus, not, um, it's a Korean Gao Icarus, uh, not Japanese Gao Icarus, but still, uh, it's a thing. Uh, this is one of the things that's been bugging me for years, is my Gao Polar's been missing. Um, again, somewhere in storage, but, you know, there's that. And then we got, uh, Gao King with the Sword and Shield. For the elephant, yay! Uh, moving down here, one of my biggest items I got, Revolver Mammoth. Uh, this thing was such, such an expensive, expensive animal to ship. Um, I think shipping in a real-life mammoth may have been cheaper, um, but overall, ugh, love this thing. Um, the motorized feature is great. Um, it's big, it's hefty, it's just, it's really awesome. It also takes up, like, a fourth of a shelf on its own, um, also, another reason why I got these really sturdy uh, shelves instead of, like, wooden shelves, um, I was like, all right, mecha can get really heavy, especially with things like this. Um, let me go to these, like, I think these whole shelves in total are, are rated for, like, 3,000 pounds. So, <laughs> we should be okay having them here. Um, worst case scenario, he slips through the, he breaks through and he lands on the ground. That's, you know, not much space there, so he'll be fine. Um, unfortunately, gold plastic syndrome actually affects the tusks on this guy. Um, which kind of sucks, because that's just not going to stay. i um, still working on a solution for that. Um, but yeah, you can see the... I put this combo out there because um, I find the Hurricane Megazord total disaster trying to put that thing together. Um, so we got that. Uh, over here, we got the lightning mode in the back um, with the giant ring. Uh, NinjaCon, just because I have one, I might as well put them on display. Uh, we got the Samurai Star Megazord slash Tinky Jin uh, with the actual Spider Claw. Um, and here's all the Karakuri Balls slash Power Spheres that I know the locations of. Again, some are missing storage. I do have all of them, minus the Scarf. Um, but yeah, they're all there. Uh, Abba Ranger slash Dino Thunder. Uh, mostly complete. Um, I still kind of want to get a Baku Reno. Uh, I don't need it for the Power Rangers collection, because uh, the Replicant Zord wasn't a real Zord. Um, but for the Abba Ranger collection, I do want a Baku Reno someday. Um, I do have one uh, arm piece here. This is actually from the Blizzard Force Megazord. Um, I just got him. So he's kind of, he's kind of there standing in. You know, one day I will get a Baku Renault. I feel, um, he'll just fit right there nicely. Uh, put this together like this. Didn't add the extra gold armor here because I needed it for the 
Triceramax. I really like that combo, just being all the auxiliaries together. Um, but yeah, this is actually a killer row, by the way. Um, this is a killer row. The Tyrannosaurus and Triceratops here are actually the American release, while the helmet and the pterodactyl, that is a Korean release. They did a single release. I picked up the rest of this minus these two. Um, I got the Tyrannosaurus and the Triceratops for like 10 bucks at a convention. So then I just tracked down uh, the pterodactyl. Um, and yeah, and then uh, this is actually a, um, this is a Japanese one. That is a Japanese one, of course. Packazord's only Japanese. Um, but the Parasaur and the Dimetro are the American release. So I got kind of a interesting mix going on here. Moving up top, we got SPD and Deca Ranger. Uh, first Deca base Robo uh, is actually this is the Delta Command Robo, Delta Command Megazord. My my bad. Um, really love that guy. I picked him up really dirt cheap. Uh, he was only missing one hand, which I later found on Ranger Board. Um, as the only person selling a hand to a Delta Command, um, and luckily it was the one I needed. Uh, let me move Silver Streak here. Uh, there is the well, the wings blocking it. Um, the Delta Max Megazord, uh, really like that combo a whole lot. Uh, it's a little back heavy, so that's why I kind of put it in the back, uh, just to keep it safe. Uh, SWAT Megazord here, horribly broken. Um, everything on this guy is, is pretty much busted at this point. I'm gonna need to replace him. I never had the guns, so yeah, it's not gonna be too bad of a replacement. Uh, moving to Mystic Force. <laughs> uh, since nothing combined here, this is kind of a, a large series. I feel like this is a big, much key range is gonna take up space. Uh, so we got Solar Streak here. Mystic Titan, the Wolkheiser, the Bright Star Megazord, uh, slash Phoenix Unizord, uh, and then the Manticore Megazord back there. Kind of hate the way that that thing transforms. Uh, we've also got the um, Battlefleet Megazord. Yeah, one of the fins is missing. I'll find it later. Um, and here's the rest of Overdrive. Uh, just kind of a split that needed to happen because of the way the shelf worked out. Um, so here is uh, Ultimate Tybogan. Um, yes, I did replace my Overdrive Swords. If anyone knows, I did not like the Overdrive Zord line. I did a whole four-part video series on it back when my voice was, like, higher-pitched and I was kind of funny. Um, here is the uh, Siren Builder, uh, Sentinel Knight. Uh, there is, so now we move into Jungle Fury. This is, like, one of the weird lines because they didn't make everything. Uh, in America, they didn't release all the Deluxe Zords, and they didn't remake them all in the Transforming line. So, kind of a weird mix. Uh, Jungle Master, Jungle Pride with the Japanese versions. I got a Geki Wolf there. Um, and then everything else is the transforming. So we got Weird Cannon Dude, um, the Cheetah, the Leopard, the Shark, the Elephant. I hung the bat with a couple uh, um, paper clips, just because that was going to work out better than trying to have it there. Uh, wolf, Rhino, Chameleon, Lion, Tiger. Pretty cool. Um, this is one of the better lines of America. This time I feel like the American Zords kind of took their own uh, approach to things. Uh, this is the RPM Ultra Zord. Um, I've done videos on this too. Love this thing so much. It worked out really great. I'm a band I have America's best. I didn't like the Road Attack Zord too much, so I bought a Go Rider GT. Only problem with Go Rider GT, when you transform him, he's almost as big as the RPM Ultra Zord. So he just gets to stay in wheel mode, and the Road Attack Zord gets to stay there. Uh, Samurai! Samurai, uh, the Samurai Giga Zord, I think uh, it was called. Um, again, they released everything here. Uh, I wish Light Zord would have been bigger, uh, just to kind of be more compatible, but, eh, it's alright. He kind of fits in there. Um, we did get all that. And over here is my Shinkano, because I don't really know where else to put Shinkano, and there was a space, so I was like, let me just shove Shinkano back there. Uh, I love Shinkano, I love it, turn the origami modes, but since I didn't go through with the rest of the mecha line, and nowadays it's just way too expensive, so, you know, there's that. Pardon the, pardon the, just, just don't look at that. Anyways, moving on down here. Uh, more, uh, more changers. You notice that changers start getting bigger because I fit all of, like, 17 seasons worth on the last shelf, and this is just eight years worth. Um, anyways, we got Shadow Phone, Sushi Changer. Uh, these are the Gose cards for the, uh, Tensoder, the Leon Cellular, uh, the Mo Birates, the Main Ranger Keys for Gokaiger. Um, these would be red, red, green, pink, yellow, blue, silver, Christmas, Go on wings, uh, gold anchor, and the Gokai cellular. I put them there mostly because um, the rest of the Ranger keys are just like, oh, here's the past Rangers. Here are like the new things for Gokai Uh Go Busters, we got you know the Morphin Brace, the Morphin Blaster, uh, Cure Eater slash Dino Charge. We got the Gabu Revolver, Gabri Changer, Gabu Day Carnival, Silver Morpher. Still want a Giga Gabu Revolver. Um, 
Tokyo Changer, Hyper uh, Red and uh, Rokugos. These here, and the Apple Changer. Um, the reason I put these here, these are the transformation versions. This one came with the uh, Daikaiten Cannon. This one came with the Tokyo Changer. This one came with the Apple Changer. The other ones that are for the Mecha are obviously on the Mecha. Um, and then we have Ninja slash Ninja Steel, which takes up a ton of space. Um, first of all, there is all six Power Stars um, for that. The Kakure Hengen, which is the Morpher in America. Um, but then we also have the Ninja Ichibanto back here, as well as the Chozetsu uh, uh, Brace slash whatever the American name is. The Burger Morpher, which is in Power Rangers 2, ironically. And I just put the uh, Attack Shirt and the Go Goten Shuriken back there. Uh, just to kind of go with that. Moving on down, one more level. Uh, we have the Megaforce slash Gosager section. Actually, it is just all Megaforce uh, Zords. So we got Grand Gosei Great back there. Uh, we got Gosei Ultimate. Uh, here is all the headers that are just left over, um, which is insane. Uh, Gosei Wonder. Uh, Gokaiger section. Yeah, there's no Super Megaforce here. Um, I went full Gokaiger. So we got Kanzen Gokaio in the back. Um, which looks really cool, actually, uh, when it's like that. Uh, put Gojujin, I, I gave him Gokaio's arms, because they're just parts lying around. Uh, and I kind of, I was like very space cautious here, <laughs> with Ninja Zord, um, Pat Striker, and Gowline all kind of hanging out together. Uh, Magic Dragon's off to the side. The uh, submarine and the trailer are there. Um, but yeah, kind of like, hey look, it's like the Jungle Fury combo that's right above it. Um, Go Busters. Uh, I didn't finish Go Busters yet. I still need to get the Frog and Tatakami Lyo, but I do have Go Buster O. Um, and thanks, thanks to the good graces of God, this guy is still intact. Same with um, Great Go Buster, but more importantly, this guy. Um, I got a brand new Gorosaki Banana slash uh, GT02 and a brand new uh, RX03. So I had them out from the box, like, right away, and I was like, all right, let me just figure out what I'm doing and carefully, uh, uh, like, figure out where do they break, and then I put them in here, and now they're staying. I'm not reviewing any more of them. They're too terrifying. Speaking of terrifying, uh, here's Dino Charge, which was Kyoryujin. I didn't get any Kyoryujin stuff except for a Kyoryujin that completely destroyed itself on me. Yeah. Uh, Terror Charge. Uh, Spino Charge. Plesio Charge. Ultra Zord. Um, yes, I used the actual tail piece on the Spino Charge instead of there, because I think that whole, like, toll thing looks stupid, but, yeah, there's that. Uh, yeah, this bottom shelf's only three seasons. I think I could get bigger. Um, so here we have Tokyo Uger. Uh, this is Chocho -cho Toki Dayo. Um, this is Tokyo Rainbow. I was gonna at least leave it as Hyper Rush Ateo, but then it took too much space. So I made Tokyo Rainbow out of all the extra, um, trains. So, like, all the Legend Russia, the Hyper Russia... The Deno ones, the fire, the police, the shield, uh, and the uh, claw. So like, I put all those there, and I'm like, hey, that that's a version of of uh, Tokyo Rainbow, um, as well as having all the bodies here because it's one of those weird combos. Uh, also, Karina Robo, I got the attachment with the drill, so he's got the drill arm that kind of made sure everything fit. Uh, and Safari so Gao, which had to be in lion mode first of all because I love lions. Secondly, that we could dodge the ninja section. Uh, and a ninja takes up a ton of space, uh, mostly because you got the huge, like, Lion Ha'o, which I love so much. He's just gigantic. Um, i leave that so it doesn't activate sounds, um, which I really like. I got uh, Artisan um, Shinobi Mario in there. And then we have Gekiatsu Daya, who's off to the side, and then we have the four auxiliaries as well. It just takes up a lot of space because not enough combines. I think Gekiatsu Daya was ultimately pointless. Um, and because of the way I had to cram him in here, it kind of throws off the aesthetic. Um, if he was not here, that would make things easier. Um, at least he's a fun toy. And then Juoger, uh, where we got the giant Wild Tosai Dodoka King, um, which I think I used him to measure all my shells, because he's, like, really tall. Um, we got that there. Uh, I put the changers back here, just because I didn't have space on the shells above. Uh, so the Geo of the Light, the two cube changers, all the little minifigures, all the little cube animals, which is pretty neat. Uh, underneath the shelf, you can notice we got, um... A couple of shuriken, like the Chogatai shuriken, the uh, Hurricane and Kaku Ranger ones, the Mecha shuriken, as you can see, for these, they're right there. Uh, and the vehicles for Ghost Sager are down there, um, or Mega Force, I mean. Over on this side, we kind of have the extras section. Uh, this is the Jujenshi set DX. Uh, this is all the other Jujenshi 
Uh, so you got like both, like the other two of uh, the Gabutira ones. So these are the ones from Kyoryujin. That one's from the Changer. That one's from the Gabutira de Carnival. That's from the Gabari Changer. That's from the um, Gabu Revolver. These are the Sentai Mecha ones. I got Gogo 5, Mega Ranger, Die Ranger, and Sun Vulcan. I uh, well as the uh, Jujenshi SP and a empty Tobospino, uh, just to kind of have it. Uh, here we have the movie Megazord from the 2017 movie. Um, this guy, yeah, he was not going to fit on any shelf. Um, just going to have him off to the side here. Uh, plus the five power coins from the basic morpher, just to kind of represent that that series. And then here is the Ranger Key Treasure Chest. Uh, this one has all my keys in it, uh, as well as the Legend of Mo Pirates. Uh, so that's, I don't have all the Japanese Ranger Keys, but the ones that I do are there. Then over here we have Key Ranger. Um, I don't know where Key Ranger is going to go once I start putting Lupin Ranger and Pato Ranger stuff in here. Or even when I get Oreo and Battler. Um, I haven't figured that out yet. Uh, I, I will in time. I may just add another... <laughs> I may just add another shelf right here. Um, we'll see. But, you know, there's Key Ranger. Got all that stuff there. Uh, there's the Q-Tamas down there. The cockpit ones that Banda never finished. And I'm still mad about that. Um, here we got the Kamen Rider stuff. We start transitioning. Um, so here is the Rider Belts. Amazon's Driver. Deno Movie Belts. Both the Master Pass and the Regular Pass. Which is, where's the Regular Pass? Should be right there. Oh, it's back there. Never mind, it's back there. Um, Amazon's Sigma Plate is there. Uh, armband, Armband, Season 2 Driver, both Injector Cores. Uh, the O's Core Medals from the Super Best O's Driver, which is there. Plus the Birth Driver Scanner. Down here we got the Drive Driver with the Shift Car Collection I picked up. Um, I got a lot of these super cheap. The Main Four, Wild, uh, Dead Heat, you know, Dream Vegas, Dimension Cab, uh, the original three-pack of those guys. Justice Hunter, um, Massive Monster, and Cement Mixer. Plus, uh, yeah, this is Type Speed, uh, Max Flare, Funky Spike, Midnight Shadow, the uh, Danger... Uh, signal bike, um, terror memory. It's the regular Dopont memory. I also have a complete selection Dopont memory set. Um, there is the thing memory, extreme memory, lost driver, double driver, uh, trial memory, axle driver, and of course the brace for the drive driver. Coming down here, we got the Forza driver. All the Astro switches are under the rack. Um, that's all of them down there. Like Cosmic and Magnet are down there as well. Meteor Driver, um, it's one of my favorite drivers ever. Uh, this is the Zodiart Switch. Uh, the Zodiart Switch Special Set I have, too, with the Horoscope Switch. Here's Wizard, uh, White Wizard Driver, Wizard Driver, Beast Driver. All these rings that I have are not all the rings that were made, but I got all the main form rings. Um, most of the White Wizard ones, because I got white, like the standard White Wizard and the Mage. Um, and then I also have all the rings for Beast, every ring that they made for the Beast Driver. Uh, as you can see, this is the whale change gun and the stupid trailer for uh, Cube Rhinos. That's where they fit. And, you know, they make a nice bookend. But we got that, so let's put this back here. Kind of just have to lay that one down. We'll just stand this one up. It's uh, very tricky to get common rider belts to balance on a normal shelf, let alone a wire rack. But I figured out a way. Uh, off to the side here, uh, stupid Ho-Oh base. I just don't know where to put that thing. Uh, Astro Switch Kaban here, which has the special switches. Um, this is like all the Rider switches. Um, the Kingo Switch from the Astro Switch rack. Yes, I do have an Astro Switch rack, and I do plan to put it up someday. Uh, much like the Common Rider Figures display, it's pending. And then, yeah, several of these Rider Wizard Rings. Just kind of like a Legend Rider case. Um, since I need to buy this to get a winch. Uh, winch rich, not a winch, but a winch, a winch. All right, this case is my Gaia memories, um, and I guess a card. Um, <laughs> this is a custom-made card. Don't worry, I didn't just completely tear up a. Anyways, a couple extra Rider Wings uh, here, but um, this is Advent cards I made as customs. Uh, I, by the way, I completely skipped over the V buckle. I'm sorry, uh, and all my Advent decks. I just blew right past that. Anyways, back over here. Um, 
So we got, you know, Cyclone Joker, Heat Metal, Luna Trigger, Axle Engine, uh, Eternal Skull. Uh, so kind of your standard stuff. Um, coming out from here, we've got some of the more special memories. Just these out. Uh, like Prism. Um, that. Uh, Amazon, which is my favorite of the guy memories. Mostly because it does this. Oh, batteries are out. Anyways, it yells Amazon. Um, we got O's. We got Double Extreme. We've got double we've got dn which is actually the best way to get dn henshin sounds before the complete selection uh we've got decayed complete we got regular decayed we got kiva new deno which was again the only way to get sounds before the complete selection uh zeronos uh climax deno deno kabuto hibiki Blade, Fize, Ryuki, Agito, Kuga, Big Pile. Uh, yes, Complete Selection, Decade, and the end are in a cabinet uh, safely, dust-free. Um, yeah, that's the display. So I hope you enjoyed this look at my Toku display. This is kind of like the main centerpiece of this room. It's kind of a main centerpiece of life. I've been collecting Megazords my entire life, and I love having them all on display now. Uh, it just looks really great. And the more that I go through things and try to find all the parts and put it all together, it'll become even better. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So until next time, it's out saying goodbye.